This is a half-pitch practice using one goal with an additional 10-yard channel inside the opposing half. The teams are arranged into a 9v8 game. The red team, including a goalkeeper. Two target players are positioned beyond the halfway line in the 10-yard channel. The coach, who has a supply of balls, begins the practice by playing the ball into the blue team. The attacking team aim to maintain possession and build the play to create goal-scoring opportunities. The defending team attempt to regain possession and play the ball to the target players. The process continues for five minutes, with the coach feeding another ball into the practice if the practice goes dead. This gives the players the opportunity to practice both defending when organized and defending when disorganized. Well, the practice is a simple practice. It's basically what people would call a phase of play. Um, and it's about trying to teach players understanding of their roles as defenders, whether they're in the back four or whether they are in a midfield four. It's also teaching the responsibilities and also uh, major things that would influence their decisions uh, when they come to play. So, for instance, taking their eyes off the ball, checking where teammates are. It's about checking distances between each other. Uh, it's about checking whether there's pressure on the ball for and there'll be a variety of different circumstances from which they have to defend. Sometimes left, sometimes right, sometimes the ball. Um, and it's about trying to teach players understanding of their roles as defenders, whether they're in the back four or whether they are in a midfield four. It's also teaching the responsibilities and also uh, major things that would influence their decisions uh, when they come to play. So, for instance, taking their eyes off the ball, checking where teammates are, it's about checking distances between each other. Uh, it's about checking whether there's pressure on the ball or not and the relationship between the goalkeeper and the back four. And there'll be a variety of different circumstances from which they have to defend. Sometimes left, sometimes right, sometimes the ball in the air, uh, sometimes the ball on the ground. But it'll be a process of trying to teach them uh, those aspects of uh, defending as a team unit. OK, ready? Off you go, play on! Any time that player or that player or any player has possession of the ball, whether under no pressure, where's the danger? Back four. I'm talking to the back four. Where's the danger? Could be in behind. Now then, have a think about this. If there's no pressure, which there isn't, but there's a threat up amongst the back four, particularly between the centre backs, you might have to drop in anticipation of a ball is going to be played in behind you. All right? Your position, goalkeeper, is vital. That if he attempts, or that player attempts, or any player attempts to try and play the ball over the top with great quality and maybe some backspin, whatever, it doesn't drop into the space that you can't mop up or these two defenders can work on. Have a look at this one. No pressure, no threat. What do you do? Why would you drop? Why would you drop if there's no problem going to be caused in behind you. Why wouldn't you just hold your ground there? If he suddenly starts to go, go on off you go, if he suddenly starts to run, now there's a threat to the back, a pass can be delivered and a player can receive it. So now as a back line, you may have to drop a little. So consistently read the game. No pressure, no threat, you can probably hold your ground. No pressure, but there's a threat to the back. It's either a forward player who's gonna spin or make a run, or a midfield player that's going to run, then you're going to have to give a little bit if the timing of his pass suits the timing of the run. And off we go. Play, John. Now read the pressure, read the pressure, no pressure, any pressure, any threat. And play, and play, keep playing. Good, keep playing, keep playing. Well done, back four, well done, back four. Go, go, go.
If I'm a centre back in here, look, and I'm reading the pressure, there's no pressure, but there's a threat here, you're going to have to give a little bit. No pressure, no threat, hold your line, but keep looking along the line and seeing what the problem could be. No pressure, but there's a threat, be ready to go in behind, read the player in possession, try and anticipate what he's going to do, and get yourself ready in terms of your hips and your feet to drop in there and win the race if they put one over the top from there. And of course, goalkeeper, your situation never changes. Clear? Pressure, threat, be ready to counter any threat that goes in behind you. Okay, young man, I'll have it, and we'll go across to you. Change the play for us, and off you go. Go and play. Now read it. If the ball is played away from our goal, why can't we push up a couple of yards at least? So as that ball is played back there, look, as a back line and as a team as such, go on, off you go, you can squeeze up a couple of yards at least. Now the question is, when do you stop going forward and when are you ready for anything that might be played in behind you? When do you stop? Because you, you can't keep going, can you? When they've got possession, when he looks up, stop before he gets possession, just in the last few yards into him. Why? Because he might pop it over your one touch. If you keep going until he has the first contact on the ball, you'll be in trouble. So anytime that ball is played away, get up there and just as it arrives, then check a step back. So it's get out, check a step. Get out, check a step before he even contacts it. Get out, check a step and be ready to drop in behind. Off you go. Good, well done, well done, well done. Forced to play back, good. Well done, well done defender, good boy. Now if you're the back four, is your distance right? Is your distance right from the ball? Based on, yes, you're fine, based on the threats that's in behind. Is your distance right from the keeper? Another yard perhaps, but be careful of what? The long one over the top there. And I've said to you, when the ball comes out, you squeeze out and hold your position before the ball is made contact with. When it's in its last couple of yards. And be ready to drop in behind whenever you can. Always three things. Good defenders, always three things. One. What's happening on the ball? Two, what's happening with the rest of the defence? Where are they? Three, what's happening with my immediate opponent? Anytime Henry switches the ball across there to Tom, as a back four, you get across the pitch, you check on what's happening on the ball, check on where your friends are, and check on where the opponents are, particularly your immediate man. So think of those three things. Change it quickly, son. Good lad, good. What's happening around you? Good, keep changing it again, Henry. Change it again, Henry, off you go, change it again, good, and change it again for me. Change, I'm watching your heads now, I'm watching your heads to see if you're checking where people are. Play it to the green then, play to the green. Good lad, and play, change it early then, Tom, change it early, son. In you go, good, keep checking, keep checking, good, well done. That's better back four. Now, if I'm playing against Irish in here, look, and Henry has possession, there, okay? Now, it could well be that he's there and that's my position. I'll usually be inside him. You understand the terminology, inside. Now, play it across there to um, Tom for me. Now, if you're a lazy centre-back, if you're a lazy centre-back, you'll amble to get across to a better position. You need to, as they quickly move that ball, he needs quickly now to come into this position here on his outside shoulder. Why his outside shoulder? Inside. Keep him inside, so if he's gonna get it, he's only gonna get it in front of you. Chances are he won't get it there because you're covering centre back. This side you can cover, you can get the one as they call down the channel. So whenever you move, move at speed, try and get on the outside of this striker here. You get on the outside of the other striker when they change the play in that direction. So always thinking about the ball, where it's moving. How quickly? Where do I move to? How do I move? 
and play out. Go on, play. Now you've got to rescue it. Rescue it. Good, well done. Yes, well done. Good, good, good thinking. Now, there's been a number of times now when the ball's been played in from Henry or it's been played in there from Tom, you've given these midfield players far too much room. Now, back four, you can't do a great deal about that other than advise these players to get tight. Just have the ball in your man. If that ball is played into the nearest midfield player to you and it looks like he's the right side, you're the left side, Go and put him under as much pressure as you can. Stay on your feet. You never get beaten one-on-one -on -one, and you've just been working on pressing and recovering. So if that ball is played in, good. Go and put him under pressure. Hold it there. Do the same. Squeeze up towards players. Now, you won't get as tight as this fella and you'll probably come this way towards him. You're giving just that little bit of cover. Now, if that wide player drops off, if the fullback drops off, you've got to be ready to go there. Don't go too early, otherwise they'll play the ball in their look. And if he shapes to play back in this direction, you've got to be ready for that. So midfield players now, whether you're in a wide position or whether you're in a central position here, see if you can help our back four to get up the field. If there's no pressure on the ball in midfield, the chances are they won't be able to push up and condense the play. If there is pressure, they can step up and you can get that more pressure on the ball and you can be nice and condensed. So any times it comes into midfield, get that pressure on early if you can. Good, steady, steady, steady. Well done, good. Now feed the green, good. Change the play quickly and just recover your shape. Drop in the U2. Good. Stay where you are. Why am I pulling you in there rather than letting you stay up here? Right, okay. Just give your friends a little bit of support there, just because that's where the ball is. All right. Now, your job then, you come in as well. In you come. In you come. Tighten it right up here, look. So your back four takes a shape off each other. Your midfield four takes a shape off each other. So if that's where the ball is there, look, he just tucks into here. Now, if they change the play across the pitch, it could be you, it could be you. But what we don't want our spaces between midfield players, why not? Because they'll simply play through you. So the distances that you two particularly have between you are very important. We don't want anything threading through to strikers' feet particularly. Okay? Henry, three choices. Play to John, play to your friend, or if it comes to you now, drive in with the ball. You can run it and play like an outfield player. Okay? What are you going to do? Get up then. Up you go. Go on. Up you come. Go on, drive in, drive in, drive in. Good lad. That's all right, Henry. Well done, Henry. Where's the nearest midfield player? There he is. Up you come, up you come. All four here. Oh, that's all right. And midfield players as well. And what? And what are you going to do? Up you come. Not the gaps, not the gaps. Don't give them the gaps. Yeah, keep pressure, pressure, pressure. Good lad. Good, well done. Are you in here? Go on, big fella. In you come. Fucking a bit tighter, tighter, tighter. That's better, that's better. Good boy. Well done, young man. Now go on out, you go with it. Now, just as a change in the practice, when you take possession, reds, you've got to be past this line of red cones. There's some red cones there, look at some red cones there, before you can play it in. So you've got to keep it, build, bring the ball out, bring it forward, keep the ball before you play it in there or you play it in there. So you can't just play it from distance. So now spread out and play out and then think about when they take possession, the things we've talked about with your back four and we're starting to work on with your midfield players. Okay? Back in again. Hey, come on in. Young, come in. Right into it. Right into it. Come on. Come on, you come. Now slide with the ball. Read it where it's going. Good. Keep it tight in here. Look, that's better. Good lad. Just drop with the ball. That's all right. Well done. Well done, you two central midfield players. Well done, well done. Better, better, better. Well done. All right. Stop there, stop there, stop there. Well done. Now, that's much better, Biddy. Now, midfield players. Choices here for the back players. If the ball is played through there to him, is there any reason why you can't come out and put him under immediate pressure? You can. Put him under immediate pressure. But be careful of what he's likely to do. Right, he might knock it round you. He might play one touch to his friend. But don't be afraid to come out there and put him under severe pressure. Now, if you can come out and hold him up, just hold the ball for me, Irish, good lad. Get tight on him. Good, that's excellent. The nearest midfield player, and it's usually a central player, but it's you in this case here, 
just turn and go and press him from the front. Now that's why you need to be together as a midfield unit. Try and stop them going through the middle if you can. You two need to be narrow and you two need to tuck in as well. But if the ball does go beyond you towards our goal, just turn and put him under immediate pressure from the front. Pressure, pressure, pressure on him. Now go, on, on, on. good lad, good lad. Good. Press, 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 good, good, good. Good lad, well done, how are you going? And slide in, come on again, big. well done big fella. That's not bad at all, well done. Stay where you are, stay exactly where you are, don't move. Now that's not bad. The back four's in a good shape, the goalkeeper's in a good position. Your covering position, if it's a covering position, as people call it, that's first class. The distances between the midfield players, that's first class as well. Play, quick, off you go. Good, good, good. Good, can you get closer, can you get closer? Good lad, well done, well done, well done, good. Ah, oh, well done. Shut the doors, don't let them play through us, don't let them play through us. Well done, that's excellent. Good, now what's your shape to play? What's your shape to play? Good lad, well done. Let's just suppose that they, because of the good pressure in midfield and they can't play through us, let's just suppose they play the ball wide. Just walk across here with me. And they play the ball wide to their fullback, who looks as if he wants to get forward. Just play the ball for me. Who goes to put him under pressure, or do we put him under pressure? We do? Good lad. You put him under pressure then. Now if you get the opportunity to show him down the line, make certain he's against that line and he can't escape from you in a one-on-one. -on -one. That means now that you've got one sole job, which is to look after the wide player. Just go wide where you were before I stopped you. Good boy. Now you look after him, and the one thing he can't do is receive a pass in behind you. He might get it to feet, but it's in defeat on your terms. Your job would be to cover. Your job would be to cover. Now, what would your job be then in that case? Good lad. And your job keeper the right distance at the right angle from the ball. Well done. Now then, what about you? I'll try and screen. Yeah. Okay, now you might have a job screening that one, but at least you'll be dropped in there. Good. Just took in for us. Come there, look. That's fine. That's fine. Now then, so if they go to their wide players, our wide players put him under immediate pressure. Now, when I say wide players, I mean their fullbacks. If the ball's played to their fullbacks, our wide players put him under immediate pressure. And we're going to show them down the line. And if we show them down the line, there is no way they're allowed to come back inside. We make it absolutely certain that they're going to go there. Clear? Right. Now, I'm not going to say a word now, but I'm going to get John to serve any ball in. He can play it anywhere. Let's see how quickly you can get yourselves organised, and let's see how quickly you can get yourselves doing the jobs that you're supposed to be doing. Play! Go on, off you go. Recover, recover quickly, recover quickly, they'll hit us quickly if they don't. Off you go, there it is, play from that one, go and react from that, play from that. Okay, out you come, come on then, up you come, I'll give you three seconds and I'm going to put a ball in. One, two, three, off you go, play on. Well, the simple things to remember would be um, reading the play, uh, reading the player on the ball, uh, what's his likely intention, is he going to play it towards our goal, is he going to play the ball square and if so how that will affect your 
the, your position. And if there's no pressure on the ball, but there's a threat to the back of the defence with a runner being running towards the back line, if you like, or somebody being on the back line with some pace, then they may have to drop a couple of yards. Uh, if there's no pressure and there's no threat, there's no reason really why the, the back four should drop. And it's a question of uh, asking them to make decisions. Do I need to drop as a back four player? If I do, how do I do it? Uh, and of course, the relationship between the back line and the goalkeeper. It would also be about movement of the back four. Uh, Any time the ball is played away from our goal and there's no threat to the ball being placed in the penalty area by the receiving player, then there's no reason why the team can't squeeze up, which means move away from your own goal. If the opposition play the ball across the field uh, and it's between players and can't be contacted by anybody, again, the team would move across the field uh, almost at the same pace as the ball. And then if the ball is with their wider players, which direction do we want them to show? Do we want to try and push them infield for good reasons or do we want to try and push them outside towards the touchline for good reasons? And those would be largely uh, the major things around which coaches could work from just using that practice. And of course, the final thing would be, OK, when you take possession, have you got the composure and do you understand the position of your players to play out uh, and hit those two target players behind the halfway line, which will always give you a different um, starting mode for your defending practice.